With the 2013-14 season less than a week away, there was a double visit from Sky Sports as the Colchester United players prepared for that game against Gillingham. On the Tuesday, it was a quick chat with Joe about the game at the Priestfield Stadium and his return to the first club he played for when he came over as a 15-year-old. And then on Thursday, it was a visit from Sky's 92 live team as they were endeavouring to visit every single league club in the space of 12 hours ahead of the new season. Here at Colchester United, they spoke to sports scientist Dave Carolan about the importance of diet and nutrition for the players. Paul here at Colchester United, uh, in what is for you the middle of a very, very busy day. Yeah, it's been, it's been frantic so far. We haven't had much of a chance to uh, to relax and enjoy. I think we'll be landing in the darkened room later. So we've been we've been at Gillingham already this morning. The, the alarm went off at, uh, I think it was half four, quarter to five this morning. Um, straight to Gillingham. Jim White landed in a helicopter on the training pitch uh, and interviewed Martin Allen from Gillingham. It was then on the South End. Phil Brown in the gym with the South End players. And, and now here at Colchester where we where we get to talk to, uh, to Dave, the sports scientist, and, and of course the manager, Joe. Uh, Joe Dunn and, uh, and look ahead to the new season. Yeah, and obviously after that it's then visits further up the A12 and then the A140 to uh, Ipswich and Norwich. Yeah, we're not finished there, Ipswich uh, and then Norwich. And then uh, I think Norwich will be about half six, that'll be the last the last live of the day and hopefully things run smoothly. We've got a, we've got a backpack rather than a, a satellite truck today, so uh, that relies on 3G phone signal or Wi-Fi, so um, we've been relying on uh, on good signal. I think it broke up a little bit of chilling in, but that sometimes, uh, that sometimes happens. But so far, so good here at Colchester. I mean, it, for the viewer, Sky Sports viewers, it sounds a great idea. And watching bits and pieces of it this morning, you know, I thought it was a great idea. Who have you got to thank or vilify for the decision to have you chasing <laughs> around the East? Yeah, that would be it. Uh, certainly, the team are working very hard. I think there's over 120 uh, people and staff involved in, in this whole project. The planning started around three months ago. Keith James uh, at Sky Sports News heavily involved, and uh, he's been the driving force behind this and, and leading this team. But everybody has really mucked in. Good team effort, and uh, and it seems to be paying off because people seem to be uh, enjoying the coverage so far. And let's hope that continues. So you'll be in the cars for the rest of the day. We're clocking up. Disappointed that you're not in the helicopter. <laughs> no, I, I don't mind the helicopter. Helicopter too much. I'm happy on the ground. Uh, yeah, we're clocking up the plenty of plenty of miles on the on the little car, and um, yeah, don't mind the helicopter too much. I'll leave, leave that one to Jim. But he's he's enjoying himself by the sounds of it. He's flying all over the place. He's been Cardiff, Gillingham. I think he's going to end up in Manchester as well. So uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of effort has has gone into it. A lot of planning, months of planning, and uh, I, know, I think all that hard work seems to be seems to be paying off now. Right?